Newcastle fans, urgent update. Something really intriguing is happening with one of the club's most expensive signings this summer. And look, it's not just any player. The situation is confusing, and it seems that this investment of millions may not have been what we expected. But before I go any further, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to stay up to date with all the Newcastle news. Here you can follow our team's every move. Now, let's talk about this unusual situation. Our Newcastle made a £20 million signing this summer, and guess what? The player hasn't played a single official match for the club. Well, that sounds strange, doesn't it? We're talking about a goalkeeper who came in full of expectations, with international experience and everything, but so far hasn't been capped. The player is the goalkeeper, Odysseus Vlacadimos. It has been a turbulent few months for Odysseus Vlacadimos. Despite an impressive international break with Greece, his situation at Newcastle United remains perplexing. Vlacadimos, who joined Newcastle for £20 million this summer, has yet to make a competitive appearance for the club. At 30 years old, with a strong pedigree that includes 44 international caps for Greece, two Portuguese league titles, and 32 Champions League appearances, Vlacadimos seemed like a solid addition to an ambitious Newcastle side. However, the reality of his situation is far more complicated than a typical big-money transfer. As Newcastle struggled to comply with financial fair play, the acquisition of Vlacadimos appears to have been more of a rushed financial move than a well-considered football decision. To understand how Newcastle ended up in this odd position, we need to go back to the summer transfer window. According to The Athletic, Newcastle was facing a significant financial dilemma, with a £60 million deficit in their accounts as the end of the fiscal year approached. The Premier League's profit and sustainability rules limit clubs to losses of no more than £105 million over three years, and Newcastle was staring down the barrel of a potential points deduction if they couldn't balance their books. In a desperate attempt to avoid sanctions, Newcastle needed to offload players and raise funds, and with time running out, they agreed to sell Elliot Anderson to Nottingham Forest for £35 million. However, Forest insisted on a player exchange, bringing Vlacadimos into the mix. Although Newcastle was not initially in the market for another goalkeeper, they had no choice but to agree. This deal, driven more by financial necessity than footballing logic, resulted in Vlacadimos becoming Newcastle's most expensive goalkeeper signing. However, his arrival was not accompanied by any major plan to integrate him into the team. Despite being a proven international goalkeeper, Vlacadimos finds himself behind several players. Nick Pope, the undisputed first-choice goalkeeper, has been in excellent form, leaving little room for competition. Meanwhile, Martin Dubravka, John Ruddy, and Mark Gillespie are also in the squad, further complicating Vlacadimos' chances of making an impact. Newcastle now has five veteran goalkeepers on their books, an unusually high number. While depth is important, having so many goalkeepers seems excessive, especially when only one can play at a time. Even more concerning is the fact that Vlacadimos has not been named in any matchday squads this season, and Newcastle manager Eddie Howe has been non-committal about his role, stating only that the Greek international is fighting for his place. It seems that Vlacadimos is not viewed as a long-term option at Newcastle. In fact, he was reportedly told before the transfer window closed that he would not play much, if at all, and that it might be in his best interest to seek a move elsewhere. However, with no suitable options in top European leagues and his family settled in the northeast of England, Vlacadimos chose to stay. The pressure was immense, with Newcastle officials reportedly fearing a 10-point deduction if they failed to comply with FFP regulations. The sale of Anderson to Forrest, combined with the acquisition of Vlacadimos, allowed them to balance their books just in time. However, this financial juggling has left the club with an awkward situation, a £20 million goalkeeper they didn't really want. Vlacadimos arrived at Newcastle with an impressive CV, having established himself as a top-tier goalkeeper. During his time at Benfica, he was named in the Champions League Breakthrough Team of the Year in 2018 and consistently performed well in Europe. Statistically, Vlacadimos' performances have been solid. His record in Portugal was impressive. He regularly prevented more goals than expected, averaging 5.0 goals saved per season. By comparison, Newcastle's Nick Pope averaged 1.5 goals saved per season during his Premier League career, while Dubravka's figure was 0.9. Given these credentials, it's surprising that Vlacadimos has struggled to find a place in Newcastle's plans. His form at Nottingham Forest, where he made just a handful of appearances, didn't help his case. 
he conceded 12 goals from 22 shots on target during his five-game stint, leading Forrest to drop him from the starting lineup. However, his performances at international level suggest he still has much to offer, even if Newcastle seems reluctant to use him. The fact that Vlacadimos has already been told he can leave suggests Newcastle's handling of their goalkeeper situation was poorly managed over the summer. While Pope remains an excellent first-choice goalkeeper, the club's failure to secure an adequate backup or a future successor is concerning. The pursuit of James Trafford earlier in the window, which collapsed due to financial constraints, only adds to the sense that Newcastle's summer transfer business was far from ideal. For Newcastle fans, the hope is that Vlacadimo's situation will be resolved in January, either through a loan or a more permanent exit. Until then, he remains an expensive and unnecessary addition to an already crowded goalkeeping roster. What do you think? Should this player be given more opportunities at Newcastle, or was he a rushed signing? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And before you go, wait a minute. There's another video you need to watch about some urgent news from Newcastle. Newcastle, confident of sealing a deal for player. Don't leave without checking it out.